I'm not going to show you how to export this. So under this, uh, the clapper that you see here, probably the default for you is movie render queue, which is the higher version, the newer version. So that's what we want to use. Um, now you're going to have to go to plugins and add Apple ProRes so that it can actually export it as a, uh, a uh, movie file. Otherwise, it'll be just a series of photos and we definitely want to avoid that. Uh, you will also need to download VLC player. So just go here, type uh, VLC player, download and install it for Windows version. Uh, just click it, it'll know and it'll download the latest version, okay? Because that'll allow you to play the file because you won't be able to play with Windows Media Player. Okay, so um, I'm going to click on this and it's going to open uh, the movie render queue. Oh, it's over here and that's fine. Maybe that's fine. And I've only got one level right now. And what I want to do is maybe I'm going to put it down here so you can see more. So un under unsave config, you want to change this. So you see this JPEG sequence, you want to delete that. We also want to add Apple Pro Res and change it to 4.22. And also anti-aliasing, let's just type four. It'll give you a better quality export. So all of this is fine. Now we're going to go to output. So one of the things we want to do is 10, 1080p, which is 920 by 1080, which is fine. Uh, and we want to make sure that it's saving to our G drive and to the folder that we had. So let's double check. In my case, I'm going to put it on, on my D drive, but in your case, put it on your G drive. And it, the name will be level one. So you need to look for level one because that's the name of my thing. So I click accept and it will start processing. So I'll give it a second. Oh, another thing that I did that's kind of really cool that I didn't know is you can save this config so I don't have to redo it every time. So I just basically uh, saved it and you know I know it's it's, it's enabled. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to now click render local and this is going to take a few minutes and it, you should see this uh, set up properly. It should look a lot like what you did. Sometimes you can't see it as well depending on the video card. So let's just wait a few minutes. I'm going to pause. So here's my movie. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to play it with the VLC player. Make sure you have VLC player installed because you won't be able to see it. And this is where you can bring it into Premiere Pro and add your audio and double check. Maybe it's too short. Like you see, I got cut off and I should re export it. Come back to my movie sequencer. Make this part here a little longer. So you're basically checking. What I recommend is exactly that you do each clip and export them one at a time. And instead of creating a master sequence in here, which is a thing you could do, I uh, find it's much easier to just export the clips one at a time, put them in a folder, for, uh, you know, call it folder, Premiere Pro Project, Unreal Engine, something like that, and upload all the footage in the footage folder. And then when you're ready, uh, you know, maybe make a footage folder, a sound effects folder, a audio recording folder. So if you're going to do voiceovers, you can do them right in Premiere Pro. I uh, will talk about how to do that. If you have any questions, please let me know.